In exercise 5.8, we are given a select life table and the interest rate. Based on that, we need to calculate a few things about annuity. In part A, we are going to calculate the expected present value of a term annuity due. For the expected present value of term annuity due, the first payment happens at time zero, so it's present value just one. The second payment happens at the beginning of the second year or time one, and it can receive only if this person is still alive at the beginning of the second year. So we need to first discount back to time zero and second times the probability of surviving one year. Similarly, for the third payment, we discount back and also this person has to survive for two years. And this is for the last payment. V is simply 1 over 1 plus i. Now, based on the table, we are going to calculate those probabilities here. P40 is denominator the number of people age 40 selected, and numerator is the number of people who are age 41 now, but selected at age 40 one year ago. Similarly, P42 is L40 as denominator. And the numerator in this case, since the selection period is only two year, so here we just use the regular L42. Similarly for P43, same denominator and numerator is L43. Be careful about which number to use though. For example, for the denominator L40, there's no problem that this is the number you should plug in. As for L41 selected at age 40, this is the column we should look at, and in this case, x should be 40, so this is the number we want. Now, for age 42, this number, this is the column we should look at, and in this case, x is 40, and x plus 2 is 42, so this is the number of L42. As for L43, Again, we should look at the last column, and in this case, we should look at when x plus 2 is 43. So this is the number we want. In the end, our final answer is Part B is also about expected present value. It is for somebody who's age 41, selected at age 40, and it is expect present value for annuity immediate, implying the payment happens at the end of the year. So the first payment already needs to be discounted, and this person can receive the payment only if he's still alive at the end of the first year, so the probability of surviving one year. For the second payment, similarly discount, and the probability of surviving two years. For the third and the fourth one. Now we need to use the table again to calculate the probability. So P40 plus 1, denominator is L41, selected H40, and the numerator, in this case, as we mentioned previously, the selection period is only two years. So at age 42, for somebody selected at age 40, there's no longer need to address the selection effect. Similarly, for P41, 2, denominator, and numerator in this case is L43.
and as we talked about previously, this is the denominator, and as for the numerators, you will need when x plus 2 equals to 42, 43, 44, and 45, and those are the numbers you need to plug in as the numerators. Our final answer is in part E, we are going to calculate the standard deviation of a random variable. The random variable is the present value of a four-year term annuity due, and the payment is a thousand per month, and this is payable to a select life at age 41. Now, since we need to calculate the standard deviation of a random variable, let's first try to figure out the distribution of this random variable. So the present value of this four-year term annuity due depends on the integer part of the future lifetime of this select life. And if we denote the present value for this annuity due as random variable y, Remember, from the lecture, we can write it in the following way. That means if the integer part of this future lifetime is less or equal to 3, then this person is going to receive K41 plus 1 payments. And if the integer part is greater or bigger than 4, then this person is only going to receive 4 payments at most. Here, the present value y is a random variable because it is related to k. And then we're going to derive its standard deviation. In order to get the standard deviation for a random variable, let's first try to figure out the distribution of this random variable. Let's discuss this case by case. If k41 simply equals to 0, in this case, this person is only going to receive one payment at time zero. So the present value for this payment is simply a thousand, right? Similarly, if k41 equals one, then this person is receiving two payments, time zero and time one, and the present value is a thousand times one plus v. Same for when k41 equals to 2. And if k41 greater or than or equal to 3, no matter how long it is, at the most, 4 payments. And this is the present value. Now, in each scenario, we have the corresponding resulting present value. Now we just need to figure out what are the probabilities for each of the scenarios. The probability that A41 equals to zero, that means this person died within the first year. It is simply Q41. Using the table, this is an equivalence to K41 equals to one is this person survived the first year, but died within the second year. So that is a deferred probability, Q41, survived one year, but died in the next year. Using the table, denominator is the same. And numerator is the people who are alive at age 42, for those who selected at age 41, but die at the age 43. And here we don't address the select effect anymore after two years. Similarly, the probability for integer part equals to two is probability of surviving two years and die in the following year. Again, using the table, denominator is L41, and numerator is the people who survived to age 43 but died in the following year before age 44. Finally, the probability of integer part greater or bigger than 3 means this person 
has to survive at least、uh, three years, and this is the probability. Now, given the distribution, we are going to derive the standard deviation as next step. So we first get a variance. Variance of y is remember the formula. It's the second moment subtract the square of the expected value. So we need to obtain the second moment and also the expected value. And then finally, for the standard deviation, it's just the square root. Of variance. So first, how to get the second moment? So the second moment is simply you need to calculate in each of the scenario you square the values and times the corresponding probability. So a thousand square times q forty one plus a thousand times one plus v square. And times the corresponding probability, and so on, and this is how to calculate the second moment. As for the mean, we simply need to calculate the products of the value and the corresponding probability and add them together, and this is the result. Finally, we can get the variance using the two values we just got, and then if we take the square root of variance, we get the standard deviation. And the standard deviation of y is in part E. We're calculating the probability that the present value of an annuity due with one per year for select life at age forty is less than three. Again, if we denote the present value of this annuity due as a random variable y. It can be expressed in terms of the integer part of future lifetime. So it is k forty plus one. And in the lecture, we also derived it is one subtract v, one subtract v to the power of k forty plus one. So we want the probability that y is less than three. If we solve this inequality, we can get k forty has to be less than two point nineteen in order to achieve y less than three. But remember, k forty is the integer part, so it is integer, and equivalence to k forty less than this. Value is k forty less or equal to two. So now what we want is the essentially the probability that k forty is less or equal to two. We want to translate this back to something related to t forty such that we are able to use the life table, but be careful with this. An equivalence to k forty less or equal to two is that t forty less than three. Why is that? Because, as an example, when t forty equal to point two point nine, the integer part is also two, right? So as long as t forty is less than three, we can guarantee the integer part is less or equal to two. And this probability is in fact q forty three, which is one subtract denominator l forty and numerator l forty three because the selection period is only two years. So the final answer is point zero zero four two one.